with Ryoshi's team now up to six. He felt confident in traveling across the swampland. All of his team had their own skills, all of them their own weaknesses, but they needed to push on to the border zone, a land of outlaws and bandits, sharing a border with the Holy Nation, the Hivers and the Shek. In this area of outlaws and bandits, it was the perfect place to inquire as to where Ryoshi might find Oni. Right, hello my fellow Spuds and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, last episode we set about travelling to the swamp with Ryoshi, Azaya and Fleabag in tow. However, on the way we managed to recruit a few new people. Now, we have Leon the Skeleton who is a pretty much all-round decent character. He's pretty good with dexterity, he's good with katanas and he's pretty good at attack actually. We've got Mew who is amazing at laboring and farming. She's going to be our leader in terms of operations when we set up a base. Basically main labor farmer. If we need someone to do some mining or we need someone to do some farming, she is the one who has got our back. We have Isaiah like we said before. He's he's getting there slowly but surely. He's got fairly good melee defense. His strength is still subpar. We need to start leveling that up. We've got Green who is amazing at crossbow. We need to get him a better bow like ASAP. The only problem is his precision shooting is pretty bad. So we're going to have to try and level that up fairly quickly so that we don't get shot ourselves. And finally, we have Ryoshi, who is pretty good with strength. Actually, it's one of the few things he is amazing at, but the rest is really actually pretty poor. The only other thing he's good at is stealth and athletics, so I think I'm going to probably keep him as the sneaky character. It's a bit of a uh, change from being the son of a noble to a thief and a sneak, but... He's learned the hard way that he needs to really do whatever he can to get by in this hostile land. And of course, we've got our trusty bone dog Fleabag, who is actually getting there as well. We've got his melee attack gone up. I don't know why he's got two katana and two in other stuff. That's pretty impressive. I'd like to see him hold a katana. But yeah, once we get a bone dog bag, which we can probably nearly afford, we could level him up in strength and he could actually be a fairly good pack animal. Anyway, I was going to have a quick look around just to see if we could find any more basic recruits. I had a look around. I can't see many others. So I think let's try and find a shop. We can buy some trade goods with the little money we've got left. And then I think we should probably move on. Right, what have you got then? Uh, you have on you barely anything. But uh, how much are the bedrolls? God, they're expensive. Oh, I accidentally bought one. <laughs> okay, fine. We've got barely any money now that we spent it on that bedroll. So I'd rather keep the 500 just in case. And we want to head up to here. I think this crossroads here would be a good start. Local misfits camp. Uh, who are you? Blue cleavers. They were the ones attacking other people before. Black shifters, blue cleavers. Oh no, hang on. They weren't that bad, I, I think I recall. So let's just keep going. They didn't attack us before. They seem to just be coinciding together. So I think we'll be all right. Right, we've got medical supplies here. And some tequila. Isaiah, I want you to go get that tequila. Ryoshi, you pick up... No, actually, Mew, you pick up the medical supplies. Right, good. And let's continue on. Go to this village, then. I need to stay focused and motivated, Mew says. Yep, that's right. We need to stay focused and motivated. But for some reason, you're walking ages away from us. What are you doing? Oh, there's a battle going on there, which I missed. Right, you lot continue on, then, into the village. Ryoshi, I want you, then. Is the battle still going on? Yeah. Go back to here. We're going to go have a look, see if we can loot anything. Blue Cleaver Nest 52 has been wiped out. I'm presuming that's from that battle here. Who wiped them out then? The Black Shifters, I'm presuming. Yeah, okay. But the Black Shifters spawned in with the Blue Cleavers. So that's very bizarre. Ryoshi, whatever the case, has come in. Let's just loot what we can from them. Right, that'll do. Let's see if we can knock him out. Get our assassination skill up a bit. Thunk. Ah, run away, run away. <laughs> ah, we actually got hit. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's trade some stuff with this guy that we're carrying. No room for that. What do you mean, no room for that? That means we can loot this one. Lovely stuff. Ooh. Blue cleavers. He's got two crippled arms, so I don't think he's very interested in uh, doing anything with us. Right, loot this one then. I think that'll be the last one. Yeah, cool. Right. Push on. Go. Ryoshi, run. Who's attacking you? That one. I don't think he's going to catch up, funny enough. Do any of you have anything worth selling? You've got some tequila the rest you know so it's just ryoshi who's got the stuff right we'll wait for ryoshi to appear wherever he is we'll sell the goods and then we can move on while we are out here let's just get to here we'll see if we can make a campfire there we go okay right ryoshi operate that machine oh hang on if we put foul meat in we get dried gristle flaps 
<gasps> oh, I didn't know that. That must be from a mod, because that's not in vanilla. But that's very cool. So it gives you 15 nutrition. That's pretty good, actually. It seems to be taking forever to cook, but that's not bad. And we can eat that. All of us can eat it. So pretty happy about that. Good, right. So we're all in a pretty good state. We've all got a tiny bit of food on us. That's nice. Oh, hang on. Something's happening here. We've got incoming beasts. Uh, Isaiah, you get out here then. Because this might be some decent food. Ooh, talk to the tech hunter first. He's not interested in talking to us. Right, well, loot the bone dog. Get some more food going. Uh, some more trade goods as well. We got a bone dog alpha pelt. Minus 75% in this local area. But it gives us 420 normally, which is pretty nice. So, local area, plus 25 for animal skin. Mark above 114 for the animal teeth. That's amazing. Was that it then? Is that just a three? Yeah. Like, I give them to Ryoshi and we've got some more food to cook up then. Oh, I see. Look, you can change it between meat and foul meat. So, we want meat then. And then he will cook the meat. Oh, that's nice. Get that. Thank you very much. And let's push on. Oh, and Fleabag ate one. That's nice, giving Fleabag one of the grilled meats. Green, I think. You're, you're a bit of a swamp. You've been here a while. Uh, go into the bar, see if we can find any recruits. Ryoshi, you just do some trading. How much does that give us? 2.1. That's not bad. Chewable leaves. Wait, I don't ever want to go into drug trade. It seems like a bit of a jump from being uh, no woman's son to suddenly drug trading. But I think... Like, maybe rice or cheap grain wouldn't be too bad an idea. So, what's cheap? I mean, rice weed is cheap. We could just get some rice weed, trade that on. Poppy? Because it's... I mean, it's used to make food and drugs, but it's not actually drugs right now. <laughs> uh, potatoes? Mm, no, it's, it's marked up. So, what's cheap? I mean, the multigrain mix is cheap. Uh, so, maybe we'll grab that as a trade good. I think that'll do for now. Yeah, because the... Drugs are surprisingly expensive anyway. I don't really want to buy them anyway. I think right now, we're probably not in a place where we would be buying drugs. I think we'll just be buying trade goods, trying to make a living. Anyway, Green, is there anyone in here that we think we could potentially recruit? Some interesting characters in here. Barthug, Barthug, Barthug. Everyone's just a Barthug, a hound or someone else. Hello, have we met? Call me Green. Hello, Green, need anything? Can you work for me? I don't make how joining out with strangers. Maybe once you're a little well known. Oh, so we have to do some work with the black shifters, maybe? Green, talk to the barkeep. Interested in game of roulette? Sure. How much? A thousand? Um, I think Green is a little bit of a gambling man. I think he might just give it a go. All right, here we go. I'll give it a spin. Where did it land? Who knows? Oh, um, um, I think reds and blacks. All the reds are odd numbers, all the blacks are even numbers. So what's it going to be, red or black? Good black. Red on black, here goes. And the winner is nine, house wins. I have to go. You just wasted all our money, green. <laughs> Not happy with you. Let's trade all this, trade all this, lovely. Trade that, trade that. That's gas, I've got 1,700. That's all right. But is there anything else that we could buy and probably save some money on transport? Uh, chewable leaves? So they said to sate it, hunger, ward off exhaustion, and help heal wounds. Okay. They're fairly cheap. And I don't think they're drugs. <laughs> or they're, they're not hard drugs, anyway. I think that's fine. Uh, we could trade them while they're cheap. So is there anywhere else that we could go? I don't think so. It's really late now. Do we want to be running through the swamp at, like, midnight? Not particularly. Could we buy a lantern? That might be a good idea. We actually go see if we can buy a lantern. Uh, lantern. 800. 900, basically. Oh, you drive a hard bargain. Fine. Okay, so we've got this guy. He's in a recovery coma still. Uh, he's kidnapped. There is no point in having him. So I think we just dump him on the floor. Uh, you can just wake up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's push on to there then. Nearly forgot green. <laughs> Come on, green. Hurry up. Get out of the gambling den. We've got our measly little light just <laughs> shining the way. Oh, we look like a sorry bunch, don't we? Don't you dare go through that water. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't think we have a choice. Fine, just fine. Go for a swim then. See if I care. <laughs> oh, to be fair, it's quite shallow. You are a sorry bunch, aren't you? Isaiah's still got really bad arm wound. I I'm sorry, Leon, why do you care about the flies? You're a skeleton. They do not bother you. <laughs> is it just the noise? Maybe they just frustrate him, but it's not like they're going to bite you or anything. Oh, you, you strange skeleton, you. 
Right, we discovered rot. Okay, we've got another little village, and it's probably the last one before we get to the border zone. So let's head on to rot. We could maybe do some little, a little bit of trading. I don't think we've really got anything else worth selling. Uh, but we need a good treasury before we can really take on Oni and uh, get some better recruits. I think it's important just to make money where we can. Those who enter the swamp don't leave the swamp. Who are you? Blue cleavers. Crap, just run. Just run. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Is it just that one that's fighting us? I think so. I think we can probably... No, I don't think we can outrun him. Oh, God. Uh, just keep running. Keep running to rot. Yeah, Mew, you just run ahead. Run ahead. Because yeah, he's going to chase you anyway. He's still chasing just you. He doesn't care about the rest of us. It's just you, Mew. Uh, is he assault He's assaulting the rest of us now. Right. Do you reckon we've got a chance? I reckon we've got a chance. Let's take him on. Green, you run that way. Now shoot. Uh... Roshi, Ryoshi, you're fine. Isaiah, you're do. Leon, right. Let's go. Let's do this thing. There we go. Right, we got hit in with the bow. Oh, it's good. Right, surround him. That's right. Green, you push around a bit. Get him from the back. Flank him. Yeah, that's right. Right, we're doing it. It's critical damage. Green, get round. Flank him again. Oh, God, I think we hit our own people. <laughs> Uh, where is he? I can't even see in all this mess. There we go. Right. Zero damage from him, though. There we go. Right. What weapon was that? A crescent. 451. And that's 97. That's not bad. Just loot what we can. Sell everything. Right. Let's go into rot, then. Right. I think we're just going to have to wait till morning. It's not that long. It's a few hours. But at this point, we should be fairly safe. Yeah, the hounds control this place. So we'll be all right. Give me uh, some of these. Give the others some as well, just in case. We kind of want everyone to have some first aid kits just to make sure. There was a bar. Go into the bar. So, uh, it's even cheaper here. That's really annoying. I could have just bought it cheaper. Right, I could buy some sake for cheap. We've only got the one bottle, but that's not too bad. Or sho shochu? Is that how you pronounce it? That's cheap. I think we buy the barley grain, uh, the sake and the shochu, and I think that should do. Now, we could start going into bounty hunting, I guess. Oh, there's loads of them. Look at this. Voodoo Brothers. Elves. King Gurgler. High Paladin. So many of them. No, but no Oni on here, which is a shame. Right, that's sell the goods that Isaiah's got. So the animal skin, we get plus one. That's quite nice. We get plus 25% from the tequila, so that's nice already. That's not bad. So we've got now 2,300. So I think Isaiah should probably carry this stuff just because he needs to level up his strength. So, you can have the sake, you can have the shochu, and you can have the barley grains. And that basically leaves us with 500 cats, which is probably a good amount to have, to be honest. Oh, uh, we could buy some rice. That's marked down. That's like a cheap trade good. Primitive scavenger backpack. Sure, right, there we go. Makes narcotics and medicines. Right, it makes it, but I don't think... Uh, could we justify that? So, we're not very knowledgeable about drugs, so maybe they'll be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Sure, let's just buy them. Put all your trade goods away. How encumbered are you now? Fairly encumbered. Right, I think as soon as we get to the border zone, you are going to be carrying someone, because <laughs> we need your strength up considerably. And uh, let's have a look. You've got strength seven now from carrying a few bits. That's not bad. I need you, like, on par with your Ryoshi. Ryoshi is 24 strength, nearly 25, and he's barely done anything. So, yeah, you need to pull your weight, Isaiah. For now, that's finally get to the border zone because i'm sick of the swamp already oh but there is a fight it's bone dogs against who band of blades seriously the bone dogs are winning okay they are walking off so we might be able to just loot the band of blades right there is still a bone dog the others have long gone do we try and take on this bone dog it is kind of injured we could we could just leave it alone let's loot what we can from these ones then right mew you you loot him uh you could have an upgrade Ooh, high grade that's nice take that thank you what have you got? Mercenary stuff. You've got samurai leg plates as well. That's an upgrade already to that. Right then, so we've looted all those bodies. Ryoshi, what are you doing? Okay, Ryoshi's stuck. Uh, someone come help Ryoshi. Right, Ryoshi, trade. Let's just get rid of everything that we don't need right now. Isaiah, we don't need that. Mew, uh, that is actually better. So Isaiah, you're going to have that. The problem that I'm worried about is that this is the last step of the journey. We've had such a good run so far. I 
whatever that is going on over there. That's going to be spiders. That terrifies me. I don't want to come across spiders because they can go however fast we can. The max we can go at the moment. Fleabag can only run 10 miles an hour. Isaiah can only run 9. If it wasn't for those two, we would be fine. So I'm wondering, if we give that to Ryoshi, you can run 11. If you do that, you can run 12. I'm thinking what we do, just so we can get out of the swamp, we make it so that everyone can run relatively quickly. Right, okay, this is the best I can do. Everyone is at 11, except for Fleabag. The problem is, I think that spiders can run a bit faster than that. Is it possible that we could get some mercenaries? I just, I don't want to risk it. We've had such a good run. I don't want to jinx getting out of here. Because if we die at this point, I'm going to be so frustrated. It doesn't look like it. I mean, we would be after the hounds, but I, it's such a small little village. I don't think we're going to find anything anywhere. That was a blood spider. I think we're just going to have to suck it up and pray that we can get out of it. I think going this way directly to Squin is probably the quickest route. We need to just get out of here, pray that we can get past whatever we can. I mean, at least we're all running now. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to level up our athletics <laughs> slash strength enough that we can uh, get up to 12 miles an hour while running. I mean, it just sums up what it's like up here when you've got a swamp ninja carrying his dying friend. Slaughter and make it quick. Uh, I don't think you're in any position to do that, my friend. I don't know who you're talking to. Unless you're talking to me about... Uh, I was going to say, unless you're talking to me about killing spiders, but I don't know. Because there's more going on over there. Yeah, it doesn't bode well. I'm pretty sure that's going to be spiders again. Oh, God, this is this is going to be horrible. I'm really hoping we can get out of here alive. I, I don't want to go back to the swamp again. I mean, if we do, we're much higher level. I, we've been so lucky so far not dealing with spiders. I do not want to have to deal with them now. And poor Isaiah, we've never actually let him be fully healed. His arm is still in the process of recovering, and it's been like two episodes now. It's the poor guy. He's just like been injured the whole time. Ah, yeah, that spider's definitely. We either go that way, and it's a bit longer across the swamp, or we go this way. I say we go the shortest route. I think that's probably the best thing to do. We could sneak. I don't know whether sneaking's better or worse, because we'll be going slower. And we are pretty much out in the open as it is, and our sneak level is going to be atrocious. Yeah, I think we just keep pushing through. Spiders. No, 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 no. I goddamn hate spiders. Yep, yeah, uh, sneak then. What's, what's seen us? Oh god, there. Uh, get back, get back. No, 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 no. That way, that way, that way. Just stop sneaking. Run. Oh, thank you for saying that, because yeah, I didn't want to have... That was a big group of them. Oh god, they've seen us. Uh, run. How fast can they go? 13, 12, 12, 13. Jesus Christ. We might have to ditch some stuff. Like, not being funny, we can't take on that many spiders. They're catching up quick. God damn it. Please give up. Please give up. They're not going to give up, are they? Uh, oh, God damn it. You can run 12 now. Drop your iron stick. You can run 12. Leon. You can run 12. Right. Okay. That'll have to do just run it's not going to be enough though is it they're going to just catch up no we can't die now we can't die now right i'm sorry my friend i'm probably gonna have to get rid of the clothes i've just given you you can run 17 now uh you can run 14 13 13 oh, god damn it this is this is ridiculous uh give leon the sword 14 we can still outrun them considerably this might work just leon can run 14 now oh, oh this is gonna be too close 14 14 Right, we can outrun them. We can outrun them. Let's go, go. Oh my god, right, we're leaving a load of stuff behind, but I think we should technically be able to outrun them now. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, we lost so much. Yeah, we, we're gaining. Oh, thank god. That was stressful. We would have died. Like, just to put it in perspective, you look at this stuff, like their strength is like 27, blah, blah. They've got really weak stats, but they will hit you and you will die. They're crazy strong. We could probably take on like three of them and we would be fine. But yeah, that many, we, we would be dead. Who are you? Who are you? Quick. Right, just get to them. Just go between them. Go between them. Yeah, they're going to take them on. Right. Okay, come back. Come back now. Because we might as well get some of the stuff that we lost doing this. Just loot all of them for all of their stuff. Right. Get the last one. Okay. That was scary. I didn't like that at all. 
We lost a lot of stuff. <sighs> I'm just wondering whether I could go back, technically. Right, Green, give that to Mew. Give all of it away. That's fine. Green, you hang back. The rest of you, I want you to get as far away from the swamp as possible. We'll be safe. Green, I need you to go on a little secret mission. We need to go back for some of our stuff if we can find it. There we go. There's some stuff here. We just need to follow the, tra <laughs> the trail of stuff we've left behind. Yeah, I, just, I really, I just want some of the armor because we're kind of sitting down, especially Ryoshi's now naked. Right, okay. That's some of it. Uh, that's the rest of it over here. Right, any more for any more? I think that is it. I think that's everything we dropped. So we should be able to take everything back. You can still run nine miles now. That is better than I was expecting. Green, meet up with the others. Oh, well, we got out of the swamp. Right, that was that was crazy. <laughs> we are so, so lucky. But that was our final challenge, and I knew we got off too easy before. So we, we should be fairly safe. I mean, the worst bandits we should come across here should only be able to, like, meme us or injure us. They, they probably won't kill us. Most of them have blunt damage. So... We should be all right. The blood spiders are evil, evil little buggers. So the, f the further we get from there, the better. So I think we're probably going to have to go over here, uh, cross this river, get to, I think the hub's just up here. So we'll go to the hub, maybe. I think that's probably the best thing to do. But I mean, at least this way, uh, Green gets to level up his strength as well. Speaking of, though, uh, Isaiah is leveling up his strength plenty, although we could get you to carry someone else. Level your strength up as well. Sure, pick up Leon. There we go. And then you can all just, like, walk slowly. Come on, we're so, so close to being safe. And we can just start as you normally do in Kenji, where you start at the hub or somewhere else, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Ah, it looks like Green's joined the party again. Excellent. Well done. We actually can finally have some uh, actual clothes back on, which is nice. Right. Okay. We've had some food. We've redistributed. We've got dressed. Time to go. I could level one of their strengths up because, I mean, let's be honest, uh, Isaiah can only walk five miles an hour. Ryoshi's also carrying flea bag, can run, go only go 11. Uh, we might as well level up one of their strengths as well. I think Green, because I think Mew at the end of the day is probably going to be based at the base when we set it up. Please say that cage beasts don't attack us. They can run 15 miles an hour. Uh, we're screwed if they attack us. And they are ginormous. My god, they are big. They could just stomp on us. We're not going to attack you. No wonder they can carry so much. Yeah. Luckily, these witches don't attack on sight. Okay, that's good. Because, <laughs> yeah, they, they would kill us instantly. All right, we've also got some friendly Garu with us. That's a lot of Garu. That is a lot of Garu. Thank you. <laughs> All I see is walking meat and leather. Yeah, but they will also kill you. We are so weak right now. We can't take on anything. If we saw some goats, we wouldn't be able to take them on. By the way, if you've got any suggestions for a squad name, tell me. And uh, I'll choose the most upvoted one to be our squad name. Because I've got no idea. I'm going to get rid of the underscore zero for now. We can just be nameless. But tell me what you think and I will give them a name. We discovered a lone shack and we have the hub just on the hill. Oh, what a sight to behold. Come all this way. We've come from the swamp, nearly dying in the process. And we've come across the first proper town that we've seen since Shark. We've come across a couple of villages, shanty towns in the middle of nowhere. But this is a proper town. Let's go in. Let's rest up for a bit. Isaiah especially could probably do an actual lie down. We've got the money now. We should probably actually get you just to lie down. We do have a bedroll. Think about it. We could just get you to just sleep on the bedroll. But for now, let's get into the hub. We'll get into the bar, maybe have a sit down, have a relax and inquire about this Oni character. I think once we've had a little bit of a break. Right, before we go any further, I had a thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the problem. So before when Isaiah was attacked by that random guy, but he wasn't interested in Ryoshi, I had to think about why he would have actually done that. Yeah, I think it's to do with the fact that we're in disguise, technically. Yeah, the Black Dragon Ninja. Uh, that's the only thing that we've got that isn't associated with a faction. Yeah, because now we're not in a disguise. We are rebel farmers with that. Uh, that's stolen, that's stolen. But that's fine. Apart from that, we're not in disguise. We need to not be in disguise. If we're in disguise, we are going to be attacked. I think that's part of the problem before is that we were just attacked outright because they saw us as enemies. And I don't want that to happen again. Now, we need to get to the bar... They've got rid of the bar. No. Where am I meant to find anything? Oh, they've changed it all. Holy Nation. Oh, it's run by the Holy Nation Outlaws now. Oh, and they don't have a bar. Oh, right. So the Shinobi Thieves are still there. So that's something. We've got a general store. Okay. 
I was really hoping we would have somewhere where we could like kind of settle down, have a drink or something. We're just gonna have to wait, wait a few hours till the shop opens, then we can trade. Okay, well, you can cook up some food then for the time being. I don't mind that. Ooh, something's happening. Oh my God. I was just about to say something's happening out here. And then I see a giant metal spider. It's literally slaughtering everyone. Why is that here? I've never seen one in the hub before. Are they going to be able to stop it before it gets into the gate? It's running out of oil very quickly. Everyone is just dying. Leon, run. I think you should probably run. Because I want you to loot this as soon as it drops. There we go. Right. Loot it quick. Loot it quick. Loot it quick. What do we get? We've got 6,000 cats. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is big. 6,000 cats is insane. Are you carrying? So you're carrying him. Corpse disposal. <laughs> Okay, brilliant. Good. So we just need to wait a couple of hours for the shop to open, and we're good. But 6,000 cats is life-changing. I mean, with that, we're nearly at 10,000 for the Shinobi Thieves joining. That would mean that we can actually access the training facilities. We can do everything we ever want. We could uh, fence stuff if it's stolen. That's good. Like, really, really good. You could argue that Shinobi Thieves are present in like every single town in the world, basically. You could argue that Ryoshi needs to try and find Oni. The Thieves are probably the best network to try and find him. It's a bit like Underbelly Society, but to be fair, they've been through the ringer. They've survived a lot worse. They've seen slavery. They've seen pillaging, looting, death everywhere. I think if they could get an ally in this world, they wouldn't mind who it is at this point. Ooh, Grog is very cheap here. Interesting. Okay, so what can we actually sell you? Bone Dog Alpha Pelt is 123% markup. That's good. We can sell it for 519. That's really good. Uh, Rice Weed is also a massive markup, so let's sell all that. Same with Coca. 100% markup on... Is that all of them? Any medicine? Well, we just have exactly what you're after. 6,000 cats. 9,000. Uh, we don't need any of that for now. 10,000 cats instantly. 118% for the electrical components. Boom. 12,000 cats. It, it does not get better than that. I think then, let's take Ryoshi, take our hard-earned money that we definitely didn't just take from a giant spider that we found, and we are going to go and, yeah, talk to the Shinobi Thieves. Hello, 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 everyone. Interested in a game of gutter bone dog? No, I'm not gambling away any money. Interested in a game of heads or tails? No, I, what is everyone just gambling? Interested in a game of lady? <laughs> Why are there so many games? They're just all gambling in here. So you want in on the shinobi yet? There we go. The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling no one. They're nothing. Nothing a few cats can't handle. I want to join the shinobi thieves. You can for a fee. That's it, I don't have to complete a test or prove myself. Do I look like I've got time for handing out busy work? No, this is business we're running, not a social club. It seems like a social club. <laughs> You've just got a gambling den in the basement. Just a one-time fee, 10,000 cats. Okay, sign me up. What do I get in return for all that money? You get yourself allies. We have hideouts in this one and in a lot of major towns. We watch each other's backs. Show me thieves stick together. It's a safe haven from rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use, and you can sell your soul items to our fence. And he also sells some hard-to-find specialist equipment at a huge discount. Okay, sign me up. We are now allies of the Shinobi Thieves. So we sell that for cheap, and then we'd have to buy it back. But do they have any that are actually decent anyway? We can buy it for a discount, but it still costs a fortune. It's a shame they don't have an animal backpack for... Uh, bone dogs that would have been nice i got a crab one <laughs> uh vodka cheap there's no point selling this stuff to them because they buy stuff cheaply because it's stolen but to us we could sell that anywhere um and it would be fine so we don't really want to do that it's really frustrating because i don't want to be in disguise so i don't know what the best way to go about doing that is i think there's a way you can technically do it with like prisoners where you give it to prisoners and recruit them and it becomes like standard uniform but I think we would just have to buy some at this point. I say we buy the vodka because I don't think we're going to find vodka that cheap anywhere else. Let's just buy the ninja rags outright then. At least uh, Ryoshi now has something <laughs> to actually uh, wear, which is nice, that isn't going to make him look like the Black Dragon Ninja. There we go. Nice. So let's get all these guys upstairs. You're going to do some training because lots of you need training. Ryoshi and his team had done it. 
Through sheer determination and will, they had successfully got through the swamps, somehow unscathed. They'd raised enough cats to find a useful ally that would allow them to rest up and start their training, so that when they found Oni, they would be able to take the fight to him. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've liked Wissim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T-Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burschel, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just incredible. Thank you so much for your support. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.